so many times things are not working in life and then for a small period things are going well and then they're not and then they're going well again and then they're not and they continue in this cycle and sometimes you know we do or say things that we know we shouldn't you know things come up against us like opposition or or uh, uh, attacks of the enemy or uh, attacks from people which is which we didn't expect uh, maybe a problem with the bank or maybe an emotional issue that just seemed to pop up out of the blue you know it could be anger or irritation or jealousy and you're thinking well where did that come from or it could be you know your kids are acting out or just you know things that just seem to pop up out of the blue and we say well where did that come from well i would like to uh, encourage you to pay attention if you are giving the devil a foothold anywhere you see when we give the devil a foothold a foothold means somewhere where you lodge your foot so you can better take the next step and the next step and the next step after that and the bible clearly tells us do not give the devil a foothold do not give the devil a foothold into your life so he can lodge his foot and then best take the next step into your life and then the next step after that and then before you know it, he's fully in your life causing havoc in your mental mind in your emotional state in your heart your chest in the way you speak i noticed that um god had me on this assignment the other day at this drug house where i tell you uh, 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 assignment at this uh, drug house and uh, basically i go there with a brother in christ and we take the holy bible and we uh, 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 we do bible study there and they show interest and they and they participate um and it's a process you know we're working through it until we break the powers of darkness in that place um the bondage is in that place but i notice that after being there for some time i noticed that i spoke a lie and i don't lie and that's not a lie uh i don't lie i noticed one of these one of the the guys there asked for one asked for a bit of money it's just some loose change we gave the guy some loose loose change he said he needed to get the bus to go back home back back home uh Further down, this other guy who's a drug user was listening. And every time he asked for money, my answer was always no, 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 no. Um, because I know what it's for. Uh, this guy said it was for the bus. And so as the other guy was listening, he said, yeah, that, that money you gave him. And I said, no, I wasn't talking about him. But I was talking about him. You see, and it, and that lie just it was just it just, it just popped up. You see, we have to be careful uh, when we give the devil a foothold. You see, I'm not sure if that was something that was just uh, Satan influenced me that time, or if it's something he's been building up within me because I gave him a foothold uh, prior time. Whatever it is, you have to be very uh, very careful when you give the devil a foothold. You see, but I noticed it that I that I that I lied and I. And I apologized to God and I asked for forgiveness and I repented. Um, but sometimes the devil can influence us in ways where we, 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 we say a lie and we don't even realize that we lied. That's what deception is. Or we're thinking thoughts that are just not of God and we don't even realize we're doing them. You know, all these things give the devil a foothold and the Bible says do not give the devil a foothold. How do we give the devil a foothold? When we do things that are opposing to God. When we do things that God commanded us not to do also when we do when we don't do things that god commanded us to do so for example jesus says you know love your neighbor uh, uh, um, treat others how you want to be treated pray for those who hurt you and so on and so forth but you know we see our neighbor and uh, or love our enemies jesus says and we see our enemies and let them sort out their own issues who cares i've got my own issues to think about you know but that's not what jesus commanded you to do Jesus commanded you to love that person, pray for that person, care for that person, and so on and so forth. So it's not just what we do that God says don't do that gives the devil a foothold. It's also what we don't do that God said do that gives the devil a foothold. And so when you see that things are, especially when it's something supernatural in your life, it's something just happening. You say, well, how did that happen? Well, you some negativity. You say, well, how did that happen? That just It just seems supernatural. You know, you need, you need to be careful if you're giving the devil a foothold. If you see that suddenly there's an, there's, there seems to be a problem with your finances, suddenly, and it's just one financial problem after another, after another, after another, you need to consider if that's like a spiritual attack 
on your on on your finances on the financial area of your life and you need to ask yourself where are you giving the devil a foothold it doesn't necessarily mean that you're giving the devil a foothold in the financial area of your life you could be giving the devil a foothold in any area of your life but he is attacking that area because that's your sensitive spot it will usually go for your weak spots so you need to ask where you're giving the devil a foothold are you giving the devil a foothold if you see that suddenly there's your kids are playing out you know are you giving the devil a foothold are you covering your children with the blood of jesus is there a protection around your children you know if not then don't be surprised if there's an attack on your kids so you ask yourself where are you giving the devil a foothold you could be giving the devil a foothold on absolutely any level mentally emotionally physically spiritually you could be giving the devil a foothold with your uh, thoughts you know you're constantly thinking there's negativity about people you're constantly creating worst case scenarios in your mind you're using your mind in such a way that is not of god you're using the mind in such a way where god told you don't do that it could be that you're not using your mind in a way where god told you do that but it's all then, then then you could also be giving the devil a foothold with your emotions using your emotions in such a way that is just not of god like fear god tells you tells you don't fear repeatedly like worry jesus says do not worry about tomorrow or like anxiety this tightness in your chest the anxiety the bible says be anxious about nothing but then it could also be that you're using the uh, you're not using your emotions in such a way that that uh, it, it is of god and joy and peace and love and so on and so forth it's not just what you do it's what you're not doing but then you could you could also be giving the devil a foothold with your mouth the bible says both life and death come from the tongue so in other words you're using your mouth your speech your words in such a way that is just not of god Maybe you're speaking destruction over your life and it never works and i can't do that well you can do that because the bible says you can do all things through christ who strengthens you can you see where you're giving the devil a foothold maybe you're speaking destruction of yourself maybe you're speaking negativity over your finances maybe you're speaking uh, 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 negativity over your children you're so stupid you're so silly you never learn you shouldn't be putting those kinds of curses on your children or on anyone for that matter but know yourself you could also be using your mouth in a negative way where you uh, a false prophet there's so many false prophets out there so many false prophets out there or these fortune tellers where it's the coffee cup or the crystal ball or the tarot cards they're using their mouth to speak falsehood to people you see medium psychics clairvoyance speak in their mouth to speak falsehood but it's also you could also be using your mouth to not do the work of god well the bible tells tells you to you know speak the word the, with the sword of the spirit coming out of your mouth you, you you need to be using your mouth in such a way where you bring peace to the oppressed where you bring healing to the broken hearts The sort of the spirit coming out of your mouth where you break those spiritual bondages where you open prison doors and set the captives free so again it's not just what you're doing it's what you're not doing you need to be using your mouth to speak life over people i cover you with the blood of jesus christ i pray for gets god's hedge of protection around you i pray for god's full armor over you you use your mouth again to pray But then you could also be giving the devil a foothold with your actions. Acting in ways that are just not of God. God says, love your neighbor. Feed the hungry, shelter the homeless. Give water to the thirsty, clothe the naked. You know, these are actions that are of God. And if you're not doing them, you're, again, you're giving the devil a foothold instead what are you doing you're focused on your own selfish ambition you've got all these you know uh, 
on, on social media with his taking these photos and it's all about self, it's all about I, it's all about promoting themselves, it's all about ego, pride, superiority. But it's also actions like, you know, stealing, fornication, adultery, drunkenness, sabotaging yourself maybe with drugs or whatever it is, or selling drugs to other people, sabotaging other people. So many ways. I don't need to get into a list. You know what the Bible says. You know what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. So again, you could be using your actions, your ways in such a way that is 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 you're doing things that are not of God or things that you should be doing, you're not doing. You know, the Bible says, go out and make disciples of all nations, but you're not going out. You could be making disciples of all nations through social media as well. You could be, your mission might be to be a stay-at-home mum and just make disciples of your kids. But you're not doing that. You just want to be lazy, sit around on the sofa all day, do nothing, procrastinate. You've got the spirit of laziness in your life. Because you're giving the devil a foothold. When you give the devil a foothold, his demons are going to start coming into your life. And they will start influencing you. Negatively, in a negative way. Before you know it, you're, you will be dealing with the, the spirit of addiction, the spirit of lying, the spirit of control, the spirit of manipulation, the spirit of laziness, the spirit of... These are all spirits. These are real living entities without a physical body. They're spirits without a body. You start giving the devil a foothold, his whole, ar his, his whole army is going to come in. Cause havoc in every single area of your life. So then you think, well, why is my life like this? Well, why is this happening? Well, why is God not listening? Why is God not doing anything? God is listening. God is doing something. God is leading you. But with all the negativity, all the mess that you've allowed into your life, you yourself cancel out the voice of God. You need to get back in your Holy Bible. You need to get seriously into prayer. And I mean seriously into prayer. Get into your Holy Bible. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There are so many people out there suffering today. Suffering. Most people, what are they doing? Focused on their own selfish ambition. Giving the devil a foothold. And then they say, well, why is my life like this? Why did my boyfriend leave me? Why did my money run out? Why did this? Why did that? Because you're in a mess where you shouldn't be. That's why. That's not the plan God has for you. Every time you're not on the path God has for you, you will find a mess. Now, don't get me wrong. You could be on the path that God does have for you. And you will find issues Jesus tells you in this world you will have trouble but I have overcome the world you will have issues but there's a difference between being off of the path of God being off of the path of God and being in a mess and not having clarity not knowing where to reach out to drowning in your own mess and there's a difference between being on the path of God having some problems but walking on water like Paul was like Jesus was walking on the water Having peace in the middle of the storm. So whatever is happening around you, it can't affect you. It can't penetrate you. You're covered by the blood of Jesus. Look, this is completely different. Completely different. You see, when you're walking the path of God. And you're Christ-centered and spirit-led. When issues come, you will have clarity. This is happening because I'm in this spiritual warfare. Or this is happening. Or I'm moving through this. Or God is leading me here. Or God is creating this. Or even if you don't know the full story, it doesn't matter. If you, Even if you don't know the full story beforehand, it doesn't matter. Jesus says, you do not know now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. It doesn't matter. If you don't know the full story beforehand, sometimes God doesn't give the full story beforehand. Because then there will be no need for you to have faith or depend on him. But he doesn't give you the full story beforehand sometimes. So you can have faith and depend on him. Now I need to lean on God, you know, which is exactly what he wants. But it's completely different to be drowning in this mess. Confusion, negativity, stress. You don't know what's happening. Spiritual blindness. Drowning in your worries, in your anxiety, in your fear. Completely different. It's completely different. You know, the path that I'm on, walking in the path of, uh, in the ways of God, Christ-centered to spirit-led. I do come up with uh, issues, spiritual wars that I need to break through. But they don't cause me to sink. I'm walking on water. I have peace in the middle of the storm. Why? Because Jesus is in me. There's a difference. I'm standing. I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm winning battles with Christ in me. There's victory. There's a difference between the two. There's a difference. 
And so you need to ask yourself if you're giving the devil a foothold. With that being said, my next book, which I promised was coming out, titled From New Age Occult to Jesus Christ. It's ready. It's ready. And it will be published in a few days. I will let you know uh, regarding the publish uh, day. There was a lot of spiritual warfare for that book. There was a lot of fasting and praying that I, need to, I needed to do for that book. The Jesus in me gave me the strength to push through. And the book is finished. And it will help a lot of people. And it will break a lot of bondages. It will break. It will help people help open people's spiritual lives with all the the new age deception that is happening out there the traps that people are falling into with that new age it's coming out stay tuned i will let you know the exact date with that being said this is my first book titled who is god you can purchase that using the link below if you would like to donate to my ministry you can use the link below no amount is too small or too big you can use the link below and if you need prayers or deliverance use the link below God bless you.